Okay, today's tutorial is going to be on how you can actually give online through our website. So the first thing you want to do is go to christiancenter.com. You're going to see this pop-up. You can hit this white X and close that out. Go over to our Give button here. Click on that. Scroll down. You'll see the blue turquoise button here. It says Donate Now. Click on that. It'll bring you to this page here. If you are our guest, you would put in the amount you want to give, the area you want to give to. So you have multiple areas. You can add donation. Put the amount there and choose the donation area for that much. If you didn't want to add that and you did an accident, hit the X, it'll take it off. We will need to know the frequency, whether it's one time regularly. We need to have an email on profile so that we can make sure we give you a record of your giving and we also keep a record on our end. And then you have to put your first name and last name and it'll take you to the next page, okay? But before we do that, I want to show you if you actually have a profile and you want to log in here, you can choose this, uh, click this arrow pointing down here and click login. So if you were to click login, it's going to ask you for the cell phone number you have on, pro on your profile so that it can send you that six-digit passcode so you can, it can get right in. And then you'll be able to view your giving history and whatnot. Um, if you don't have that uh, cell phone on file, you can use email address instead. It'll actually ask you for the email, and it'll then send you a six-digit code to your email. You can use put the code in here, and it'll actually let you get access to your giving records and, and all the things that you normally already have saved on your account. Okay. But uh, that's if you have a profile. Let's go back to the guest. So in this case, say you were going to give uh, $15 general offering. You did one time. In this case, um, I'm probably just going to put anything. Um, I'm just going to put abc at ymail.com as an example. John Doe. Um, actually, let me see. Let me, let me do this instead. Okay, I would do something like that as an example, then I would hit continue. And then it's going to actually associate uh, the information just like that. And then it's going to ask me if I want to add a bank account or I want to give it through a debit card. So in this case, say I did a test. I'm going to do, in, in this case, I'm doing a test card. Okay, and then it would ask me, do I want to save the payment method? I could click on that and then I could just literally hit give now. And it would actually give, um, the giving process would, apply right now it'll send me an email receipt and you'll also see a thank you message it says thank you for giving with the dollar amount that you gave in the area that you gave to if you don't see that um, that means that the transaction didn't go through and so that's just something to be precautious about sometimes you don't want to make sure you do two transactions you know so um, that hardly ever and I don't think it's I remember the last time it has happened but just something to be precautious about um, this right here it says add 64 cents to cover the processing fee this is just letting you know what we cover and what we, what we pay in fees um, to take a $15 general transaction from you. So this is just an option. It's not mandatory. If you wanted to cover that, you can click this and then it would add the 64 cents to the $15 and you can give now. And same thing, you'd get the email receipt. So that in a nutshell is how you give online. Um, and like I said, once you give this, we're still taking the record. Sister Linda is having records of whatever giving is done, whether it's a guest or whether you're logged in. So this is an easy way to give online as well. Okay. If you have any questions, um, need any help getting set up, you can email me at info at and I would be happy to help you. God bless you.